In this After Effects tutorial, we're going to take a look at animated typography design. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. I hope you're all having a good day and we're going to take a look at several techniques in this tutorial like creating this nice little bevel of text, doing the stroke effect, doing like a fill up effect and creating dots. So let's jump into our tutorial composition. I already have my text in here and a nice little background. Um, and the text I'm using or the font I'm using is Street Script and it's a really cool script font. So that's what I'm using. You use whatever font you want, but let's go ahead and start doing this. So what we need to do is once we have our text in here, we need to select our text layer, right click the text layer, and we need to go down to create mask from text. And then we're going to get a white solid with all of our mask in here. If I turn off the little mask icon right over here, you'll see that we have our text straight on a solid layer. If we hit M on our keyboard, we'll see all of our mask layers and they're properly named for us, but that doesn't matter. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to effect generate stroke and we're going to check on the all mask and we're going to go to paint style and we're going to switch this to reveal original image and all we see now is the stroke of our text and if we set the start to 100 percent the stroke will be completely gone and what we need to do is add a keyframe for the start and we'll move forward by like you know maybe a second a little maybe a little past a second and we'll set the start to zero percent and if we come here you'll see that it kind of you know writes on word by word. So what we need to do is uncheck the stroke sequentially box and everything will kind of uh, write on together. So we just created a very quick stroke effect. And if we need to change the color of the stroke, you, we have to change the color of the layer. So make sure the solid is selected and go up to layer solid settings. And we can come here to the color and we can set this to our stroke color, which will probably be more of a light blue color. Um, and I'm going for more of an orange teal sort of uh, design here and we'll click OK. And you see that the color did change right away. So it was white and now it's more of a darker or sorry, a lighter bluish color. So let's go ahead and grab the rectangle tool and let's go here. Just draw out a big box right above our text, kind of like this. And we need to just animate this to come down. So let's go and hit P on our keyboard to bring up position and let's add a keyframe for that. And let's move that keyframe forward in time to maybe like two seconds or something. And let's just bring this solid all the way down to like right here. And we see it'll cover up the text. And maybe we'll make both these keyframes uh, easy as keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Let's go right here into the contents and let's add a wiggle paths. And let's open that up. And as you see right away, we start to get some sort of like waves or ripples in here. Let's go and maybe increase the size by a little bit. And let's set the points to like smooth. And, you know, maybe we have to lower the detail, maybe by a little bit, maybe we'll do like five and we'll kind of get like this sort of wavy motion. As you can see, it'll automatically like be animating without any keyframes, which is really awesome. And we will stick with this shape layer. So we can come here, maybe rename it to wave. And let's make sure that this layer is right above our original text layer, which we can turn right back on. And let's set the track mat for our text layer to alpha mat. So now it will kind of just reveal on like kind of wavy and we have this nice little animation. If we need to you know, make this a little bit longer, what we can do is go right back into the wave, hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes and we can maybe stretch out the positions by a little bit longer and then bring these keyframes over by a touch. It's a little bit weird, but you know, we just have to time this up properly. So stroke is on right there and then starts to fill up with uh, orange juice. <laughs> so we're looking pretty good. So let's take this a little bit further. What we need to do is select all of our elements and we'll go up to layer pre-compose and we can maybe call this, um, you know, text stroke or something. It doesn't really matter and click okay. So let's go ahead and bevel out our text. So make sure the comp is selected and go up to effect perspective and let's add the drop shadow effect. And I made one mistake. Let's go back into the comp here and let's make sure to just copy our background and delete it. And let's just paste it back in here and put it on the bottom because the drop shadow was applying to the sh uh, to the uh, solid. So that was a little bit of an issue on my part. But back to our comp here, let's go to the drop shadow and let's set the opacity to 100%. So let's go to the shadow color and let's change it to like maybe a blue uh, color, a little bit darker than the actual stroke. And then we'll click OK. And then let's set the distance down to two. And you can always change the direction of the shadow. Maybe we'll just do like a you know negative 145 degrees or something. So now we have to determine when the shadow is going to come on. So 
maybe around like two seconds, a little bit past two seconds. We'll add a keyframe for distance. We'll hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. We'll move that keyframe forward in time, maybe by like an entire second almost. And we'll set the distance down to zero. Okay, so this will just come on like that. And then now what we have to do is very simple. We need to start duplicating this and you can go up to edit, duplicate. Remember the keyboard shortcut, which is command D on a PC or control D on a Mac. And we can just come here and just duplicate this, you know, maybe about 16 times or something. And boom, there we have our text right in there looking pretty good. And then we can select all these and collapse them like that. And then so it's a little bit further and let's create a new uh, drop shadow effect right from scratch. So let's add that right in there and let's set the opacity down just by a little bit, maybe like 36%. And then let's increase the distance by a little bit more. So now we'll kind of have like that extra drop shadow and maybe we'll just angle this like right off to the side like that. So just that looks really cool. And then we also need to make sure we animate that as well. So let's just come here and just animate the distance at a keyframe and go to three seconds and we'll just set this to zero. And of course, maybe we can set all these keyframes to easy as keyframes as well, F9. So let's talk about adding dots to our text and make it pop out a little bit more. And this is not really gonna be a step-by-step -step task because there's really not a good way to create dots. The best thing you can do is put them in individually. So all I did is I went up to the ellipse tool and I zoomed in to our text here. So all I did was come, I came down here and held down shift and created just a very small circle. And I went to my selection tool and I just basically positioned it right over the text. And then, you know, I went ahead, duplicated the shape layer and I just started positioning these, you know, on spots on the text that, you know, seemed relevant. So I know that doesn't seem really intuitive, but you know, that's really the thing you have to do if you wanna create an extra style on the text. If you were gonna do this like in say Illustrator or whatever, you would have had to do this anyway, add the dots individually. If I'm wrong on this guys, please let me know in the description. But I, th I did some research and this was the best thing I could come up with. But if this is if you wanna do it, so all we have to do when we're done with the dots is maybe just pre-compose all these if you're going for this and we just call it, you know, dots. And then let's go right into the comp here. And all I did was I just offsetted, you know, huge groups of dots. So I maybe selected one large group uh, like these here and pulled them back by one frame. And then I went to the next set of uh, dots and, you know, pulled them back by another frame as well. So this way we'll have a nice little uh, offset animation here. And then of course we might need to take this comp over here and move it over to three seconds. So, you know, as you see, they'll individually come on just by a little bit here. So, uh, you know, it just looks pretty cool. And then, you know, once the draft shadow's on, we want the dots to appear on as well. And if you worked your way through this tutorial, this is what you should have gotten. And it, you know, I think it looks really cool. There's a few you know, cool typography concepts in here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more After Effects tutorials. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.